this edition of NFC Tags 101 How To Videos. I'm going to show you how to create a uh, car tag, an NFC car tag to put in your car, to uh, tap when you get in your car, to set your phone for being in the car, and tap when you leave the car to change any settings for when you want to exit the car. So I'm going to use the app uh, NFC Smart Q, which allows us to create a toggle tag or a switch tag. First thing you have to do is you have to create your two um, set of profiles uh, that you want. So we're going to add, we're going to do control settings. We're going to go to Wi-Fi. We want it to disable Wi-Fi when you get in the car. We're going to add another one, control settings. We're going to go to Bluetooth. And we're going to make sure Bluetooth is on when you get in the car. We're going to go to another one. And uh, let's go to control settings, sound and volume, ring volume. And we'll put that up top. Make sure it's loud when we're in the car. Control settings, sound and volume, notification volume. Make sure that's nice and loud. Add another one. Control settings, sound and volume. Just so you can, I'm not doing this, but you could also use this with this app. You could change your ringtone. So if you wanted to change your ringtone to something different when you're in your car and then change it back when you leave your car, you could do that. Same thing with notification tone. We're not doing that, but that is possible. And the last one, we're going to go media volume. And we're going to put that all the way up to maximum as well. And then let's do one more. Let's add, uh, when we get in our car, we want to launch a music app. So we're going to select an application. I'll we'll have to wait a second for the application list to populate and then we're going to go down and find uh, let's do Google Play Music let's see if I can find it maybe listed just as play there we go play um, I'm going to click OK and uh, I think that's Google Play Music, or maybe the Google Play Store. Sometimes they name these things odd names that don't match the application. So let's, uh, that's going to be the first tag. So I'm going to click this My Tag button right down here and set that up as Enter Car. OK. And so I'm going to click OK. And there you go, that one's set up. Now we're going to create another one. This is for when we get out of the car. So I we'll add, let's see, settings. When we get out of the car, I want to make sure Wi-Fi gets turned on. And then I want to make sure Bluetooth gets turned off. Now I don't really care about my volume levels. When I get in my car, if they were down low, I want to make sure they uh, get turned back up high. But uh, when I get out of the car, I don't mind them staying high, so I'm not going to worry with those. But if you wanted to add something else, of course, you could, you know, add other things. But I'm just going to leave it at that, because those are the only things right now that are important to me when I get out of my car. But you could add whatever you wanted to add. So I'm going to hit the My Tag button again, and I'm going to call this Exit Car. And then I'm going to click OK. And there you go. Now if we click the tab up here that says My Tag, you can go there and you can see those two, Exit Car, Enter Car. So they're there and they're ready to go. So now I'm going to click Switch to create a Switch Tag. Select Tag 1. Tag 1 is going to be Enter Car. OK. Select Tag 2. Tag 2 is going to be Exit Car. Select OK. Now we just need a, a tag. I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use the uh, Andy Tags uh, Intag 203 NFC tag, which is one of our universally compatible NFC tags. Um, but you should be able to do this profile with any tag because um, it's not taking up a lot of memory. Uh, so we're going to put that. And I'll lay this down here, and uh, you'll see right here it says click that to right. So I'm going to click right. And if you want to make the tag read only, you can. Just remember, if you do that, it cannot be undone. I don't need to do that because I don't need to worry about someone getting in my car and changing my tag. So I'm going to tap the tag. 
says tag reading a success, tag writing a success. So now we're good to go. So now all we need to do is test it out, make sure it works. This tag is here. Let's uh, look at my volume levels. Let's lower them just so we can make sure this is working. So I've lowered them. And so uh, Wi-Fi is on right now and Bluetooth is off. So I get into my car and I tap this tag. Uh, you could probably see my Wi-Fi just disconnected and Bluetooth just cut on. Um, it looks like I did choose the wrong music app. I choose AOL Play. But all the same, you can see that it does open the app that you choose. And if we look at my volume levels, you'll see the volume levels have all been risen. All happen automatically um, from this tag. Now, let's say I get out of my car and I'm going to tap this tag again, which is a toggle tag. So the second time you tap it, it does the other thing. You can see up there in the notification that my Wi-Fi is back on. Bluetooth is no longer there because that's been turned off. Now again, the volume levels will be the same because we didn't change the volume for the uh, exit tag. But anyway, that's how the uh, that's how you can set up a toggle tag with NFC Smart Q for. Uh, use when you're getting in your car and exiting your car to have your phone automatically uh, change the settings and open up either a music app or uh, a map app or whatever app it is you want to open up using NFC Smart Q. So pick up your own Andy tags at andytags.com. That's where you can get your NFC tags and uh, create a uh, car tag of your own.